Welcome to this video on uh, TCS Ion Job Listing Portal Demo. So in this video, we will explain uh, uh, the, how corporates can use the uh, job listing portal and how they can get started by creating the jobs and uh, subsequent steps after creating the, the jobs. So corporates, once they sign up with TCS Ion Portal, um, they will get a uh, confirmation mail uh, that your account is uh, registered post which uh, uh, corporate managed services team associates, one of our associates will get in touch with you and will confirm that your account is approved. So post this confirmation mail from ION, you can get started and you can log in with your login credentials that you used during your registration. So remember to uh, uh, have your uh, registration details noted and you can continue to use the same login details. So let's get, get quickly started how you can use the platform. So this is the URL you will be using, learning.tcsionhub.in and you will log in. You will enter your login details and you can log in. So while post login, uh, you, you will have to click on the tab My Dashboard and you will uh, be landing in your dashboard page. So in your login, you will be seeing this blank. So I'm since I'm in a demo ID, you are seeing some jobs posted. So the first step before even posting the job, the first step that you need to do is click on edit profile. So you will see um, you will, can add some information or cover image to your profile and then your details, uh, logo, you can update your website URL. Then um, you can update your company profile. So these are some uh, basic things that you can update and if you want to add more sections also, you can add it later on. So this is the first step that you will do so that uh, the candidates who are applying, they will know more about your uh, corporate profile. The next step is the create job. So I'm into create job. Uh, so uh, by default, your company name and your industry will get populated and uh, you can start updating whether it is part-time, full-time contract or whatever it is. If it is an internship, just mention as internship and job name, for example, I'm just posting as programmer. So here you need to enter the minimum years of experience for this job. For example, I, I just, my minimum years of experience is two years, just mentioned two years if it is for freshers. Mention it as zero. And if you want uh, candidates with resumes to apply, so you mention it, mention this resume as mandatory so that uh, when candidates are applying, system will prompt them to have your resume also updated. And then here you can mention any, issue, uh, any uh, other benefits that you will be offering apart from the salary. So you can mention like insurance or PF or whatever benefits that you're offering. Uh, and then this is a start date and uh, if you want to give an end date uh, like when you want to close the applications mention the end date and there is an option whether you want to disclose the salary or not okay and uh, it's better always to use this option that you mention out the minimum and maximum salary and the pay period whether you're mentioning the salary in the monthly or uh, annual CPC is what you're mentioning so this uh, gives a, um, a more uh, uh, will be helpful to get more applicants driven uh, applying to these jobs and then you can add uh, um, job locations for example how many each location varies how many vacancies you have for example i have in mumbai then i need to add more in chennai i have uh, certain locations um, certain vacancies so each location wise you can have the uh, Vacancies listed down. For example, I'm mentioning your Chennai for by 50. Then um, you have another option here like certification required. Here in this, you will see the list of certifications which are av available in TCS Ion Learning Platform. So this is basically uh, like if you are high, looking for uh, a futuristic. Uh, uh, three months down the lane, six months down the lane, for if you want freshers who are certified in Python. So then you can use this option. But immediately, if your requirement is very immediate, uh, you don't have patience, uh, I mean, you will not have time that uh, 
people can undergo this training and then apply to this job then you can ignore this uh, so uh, like candidate who are already certified then they will continue to apply but here uh, the options that you'll have is the certifications that are available in TCS on platform so you want pre-qualified or pre-certified candidates you can use this option and if your recommend is not very immediate you can go with this and then click continue hope the first step is clear so you're entering the basic details about the job and step one step two is i have to give a profile a job summary which is your jd uh, looking for java so whatever it is whatever your jd with the two whatever your skill set you're looking like uh, okay and basic qualification so if you're looking only for engineering or arts or whatever degree you are looking so if there are any specialization in engineering also you can choose if your specific branch you are looking so if there is no specific branch then you can very well go with just to be So it actually this is, doesn't mean that uh, only this particular degree of candidates will apply to your job. It is just a display field in your uh, JD. So it uh, it will be displayed to the candidate only BE graduates can apply. But still irrespective of this candidates from other qualification also might apply to your jobs. So in that case if you want some restriction to be uh, enforced in your application. So this is where you need to use this. Uh, click here to set eligibility. For example, I, uh, for example, let me take this scenario. I just want uh, only two years experience to apply to this job. Um, I can, uh, I will choose this uh, two, to, two to three or the range here is something I have to enter the range. Again, this number that I'm mentioning here, this two is what I should have mentioned in my minimum years of experience. Okay, so for this job, I have just mentioned a zero. So I'm ignoring the years of experience. For example, if I want uh, 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 my uh, candidates with the 12th uh, percentage as uh, so higher secondary percentages, 70% and above only to apply. So then I will mention this. So this is another advantage when you mention this out. Uh, uh, if candidates are applying to your job and they have not updated your higher secondary or secondary percentage, system will prompt them to add this. So uh, when students have not completed their profile and still they are applying, so it system will prompt them to fill, update their higher secondary percentage. Because you have added this in the eligibility criteria, so system will try to validate and it will prompt them to enter that, fill that and then only apply. So I'm just adding my uh, higher secondary uh, in my eligibility criteria. So here it says that this qualification is not present. So I just need to add here uh, higher secondary also because I'm mentioning it out in the criteria. Preferred qualification. So whatever you want to mention it out, uh, you can mention. Okay. So you can see here uh, the details, whatever you have filled in and you're confirming. Before posting the job, you just uh, you can do a, a final preview of your job post <coughs> and you can confirm. So don't go into these steps, step four or step five, whatever it is. Uh, uh, this we will have to do it later. Just posting jobs complete these steps only, confirmation only. So you can also see our uh, job review here. Okay, don't go into this rule configuration also. We can see how it looks on a tablet or a mobile, how your job profile looks. And uh, you can see the preview and then submit. So now your um, job gets posted here. Once you uh, post the job, uh, you can see the job poster in your My Dashboard. 
so it will appear here all the posted jobs will appear in my dashboard for example so let me just uh, consider this job post java programmer so i have done the posting and also here i am having like uh, six applicants are applied already once you start posting the applicants will start applying so to view the applicants uh, you also have a pro provision here to download or upload the applicant detail but here it will be like very limited fields only you can able to see in this download option so just go into this screen where you see the applicant Again, if you want to do any uh, corrections to the job poster, you can always click on this edit icon and uh, uh, you can make the corrections. And if you want to delete the job also, you can delete it. To view the applicants, click on here and uh, you'll see the uh, applicants uh, applied. So uh, this is where you will have some options to download all the applicants uh, in an Excel file. So you can download all the applicant detail. So an Excel file will get uh, downloaded. You can see, uh, and you can filter out, for example, this is the applicant name or whatever you want to filter out the applicants from an Excel sheet. You can easily do it. And let me come back in detail to that. And also you have download all resumes. When you click on this, a zip file of all the resumes will get downloaded. So you can see here all the resumes of this job post gets downloaded in a single click. And also on screen, you do have a view resume option or view profile option. You can view their resume. So you get, uh, get their resume downloaded and you can view their resume. And uh, once you have shortlisted, uh, approved their application and you want them to consider for further processing, you can click on this option approve or reject. So you want to just make them application on hold you have an on hold option and then if you are uh, calling them for an interview you can mark the status as call for interview so uh, so that the students will also know and uh, so you can send out a mail to them that uh, about the interview schedule and other details so just mark the status as called for interview so that the candidates are aware of the status of their application and once you do a final offer letter, then you can uh, offer letter is released. You can click on this final selection icon. So, uh, for example, if it's posting a job, then there are 10,000 applicants applying. So what is the best option to screen the profiles is what this is what you can download all the applicants and you can filter out and uh, in a single uh, by Excel sheet, you can validate their years of experience or other details, their scores, their uh, NQT scores you will be able to see. So this is a test of instance, you're not seeing the scores. Based on the scores, you can validate and simply add a filter and then, or you can uh, filter out the excluded candidates. And here you can simply change your status, uh, selected, okay, or called for interview and then save it. So you want to, uh, rather than doing, for example, 10,000 applicants so on the screen, you will not be able to do one after the other, right? So you can do it in an Excel file and then upload it back. So upload applicant details, so choose file. So again, uh, pull out the detail and the file where you have up updated all the applicant status and upload it back. So now whatever status you kept will get reflected automatically students will also know okay so this is one option and also you have some recommendation from the system so there will be some profiles uh, will be uh, listed based on the jobs that are posted so you can send invite to those candidates to uh, apply to the job so you can uh, invite them to the job post that you have done also if uh, if you want to upload the jobs in bulk okay so there are 50 to 20 jobs that you want to post at a stretch. So there also you have an Excel version, download the Excel file. You can fill in all your details and upload it back. So we saw this is the create job in a front end option where on the screen one, one by one each job will get posted. Also we have a bulk option as well. Yeah, that's it. I think I've covered all the steps that are involved. So thank you so much for watching this video and you can also still touch base with our 
corporate managed services associates uh, team to if you have any further queries thank you so much